Hey everybody, my name is Matt with BZB Gear, and today we're going to be going over a pretty special product. This is going to be our BG FES 12G. It is a single mode uh, fiber optic extender. Uh, what this is great for is specifically like sports events or kind of something where you need to route cable over a very long distance for video, uh, especially 4K video. Uh, fiber optic is fantastic for that. These units have a very impressive uh, distance of about six and a quarter mile is what these will cover uh, with fiber optic cable. So as long as you have enough fiber optic cable to run it, this will be able to get you that signal pretty much wherever you need it. Um, it has great transmission speeds up to 11.8 gigabits per second. So one thing to note with this unit is it does not come with the fiber optic unit here. Uh, these are going to be supplied separately. Either we can supply these or you can supply them on your own. Just make sure that they're going to be working with the unit. So let's go ahead and get into setup for this because this is a super easy unit to actually get going and uh, it doesn't involve too many steps. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, starting off, we have our receiver and our transmitter. There's one major difference between these two uh, besides the fact that one of them gets plugged into whatever the source is, and the other receives what the source is sending. And that's going to be, the transmitter has the SDI loop out over here. Uh, this is going to be great if you need to set up a monitor to see what is coming out of source at location. So maybe if you are recording a hockey game um, or broadcasting a hockey game at a sports arena, you could use that to set up a monitor on top of the camera so your camera op can see what is going on. So. Like I mentioned, these do not come with the fiber optic modules. All you need to do is just grab one of those uh, and then just slot it in for both of these units, um, one on both the receiver and the transmitter. Uh, once you do that, we can go ahead and get into the actual setup of this. And like I said, it's super simple. So uh, first things first, we're going to need to power these. Uh, these both come with included power supplies and they are also captive, so just plug it in and then we just screw it in um, to make sure that it doesn't fall out. So I'll go ahead and power both of these bad boys up. And they are now powered. So um, what we're going to do for our transmitter here is we actually have one of our PTZ cameras set up over here. I'm going to go ahead and run an SDI cable. Um, from that camera to uh, this transmitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug that into the SDI in over here. So once I get that plugged in and locked down, we can go ahead and run the rest of this SDI cable over to our camera. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and grab our fiber optic cable and plug just straight into our unit here. And then plug it again into our unit over here, which is going to be our receiver. And for this, what I'm going to end up doing is run SDI out of our receiver into one of our switch, uh, our, our video switchers. So that way you can go ahead and see what it looks like on our source. So let me go ahead and grab this SDI and I will go ahead and plug it in over here. Pardon the cables. So that pretty much brings up our setup. That is everything we need to do and let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. All right, and there we have it. So we have our source running out of our BG UPTZ camera over here through our uh, BG FES 12G uh, fiber optic extenders all the way over to our BG MFVS 61 video switcher. So this is a great, elegant, quick and easy solution for uh, production companies or live productions, specifically sports, where they might need to run very long cables uh, over <laughs> some pretty decent distances, but also retain all of the data and the speed, as well as higher resolutions. So if you need something that can do up to 4K 60 at uh, well over six miles, this might be a perfect solution for you. Um, I hope this really helped out, and if you'd like to, please subscribe and keep tuned for more information and videos like this to kind of help you get situated with your next AV or video production need. 
See you guys next time.